another Chupacabra sighting. So if you've heard of the Arizona Peace Trail, you want to know more, definitely check out ArizonaPeaceTrail.org. Uh, it's a very great resource if you want to plan out a ride with your buddies. There's over 750 miles in the complete loop. My friends and I here did an upper section um, around 300 miles and the website gives you map, GPS files as well as even a sample itinerary just to know you what you can plan for and what you can expect as you're trying to go from place to place what you need. And also here's some highlights of our trials and tribulations, just so you know and be prepared for what you could encounter on a long trip like this. Morning from Havasu. Chupacabra off-road, back in the desert, this time Arizona Peace Trail. Three-day trip, we're headed from Havasu Springs to Kingman, Kingman all the way down to Salome, and then Sunday Salome back to Havasu Springs. We're about 35 miles into our ride. Uh, one of the guys in our group had an issue with his battery. Another guy's got a spare. Uh, running with a, a guy that I, uh, I met when I sold my old Razor, funny enough. So, awesome group, they invited me. Everyone's cars are really dialed. I've got what they need. Um, even got a chase guy in case we have a real issue. Um, really excited to get the new Razor race car going back on good. It's running really well so far. So, excited about that. Uh, just wanna make sure we have a nice clean run and, and have some fun and check out some terrain. So. We're in Havasu, um, we're right above Lake Havasu in the Standard Wash area. I've ridden out here a couple times. Uh, pretty, a lot of chatter, a lot of, um, a lot of washboard washes, a lot of uh, sharp rocks. So just trying to, like I said, stay smooth and good weather. It's not too dusty, a little moisture in the washes still. So it's awesome so far, having a good day and uh, hoping to keep it moving, get this issue resolved and get to our destination for day two. So I mentioned just having a smooth run, taking it easy. The first time I did a point-to-point -point ride like this, I got a little overzealous from riding slow and ended up driving fast and broke my car, which is a real pain. So I've learned on rides like this, you definitely click, kick it down a little bit from what my normal pace is. It's definitely not my glamorous pace or my normal run around pace. It's more about getting from point A to point B, um, you know, making sure you have a nice smooth run. I'm kind of tiptoeing through some of these rocks. You can see some of the first sections. I've shown you is really slow. Here we finally get to open it up a little bit. And as you can imagine, I'm excited to get in the race car, get, letting it eat a little bit. But um, just trying to really take it easy. I ran probably more air pressure in my tires than I should have. But um, just like I said, more about getting from place to place. We have a long run, multiple days, and I don't want to risk it with my own mistake of, uh, of doing something by going too fast. So speaking of pace, the Arizona Peace Trail is definitely a slower pace than the similar type of rides I've done down in Mexico. 
Uh, so you talk about a 150 mile ride in a day. It's a pretty long day. I mean, we didn't even stop for lunch. We stopped and grabbed some fuel and bullhead, but um, you have to keep that in mind. And you know, you're also loaded down with all of your supplies, your clothes, your car is gonna be a little bit heavier, more strain on the vehicle. So kind of driving smooth and getting there, you know, like I said, and, and making it uh, so you can have a, a good fresh car and, and be ready to go because we're pretty much driving from breakfast until sundown each day. And the goal also was to finish before, uh, before dark each day. Day two Arizona Peace Trail, top of Trail 7101. It's amazing up here. Must ride if you're in Arizona. Everyone's having a great ride. One small hiccup yesterday with the cars. Everything's working great. Having a great time. Got a full pull today. We're doing 180, 200 miles. Um, awesome start to the day. Desert yesterday, mountains today. Got to get loaded up. We got to head back to it. We'll catch back up later.
So to wrap up Saturday, man, what an epic day. We started off in the mountains uh, having a ton of fun. And then we ran into a couple little issues. First off, my car uh, lost a uh, fuse that burnt in the uh, fuel pump. Ended up not being a big deal. Had an extra fuse. 10 minutes, we were back going. Then we get up a, a really rocky technical section and, um, and Mother Nature put a huge rock in our way. So at first we tried to move the rock a little and we all ended up getting around it. Huge cliff drop off on the other side, but uh, a little nerve wracking there for a little bit. That delayed us about an hour. And then uh, we had a guy lose his bolt off of his secondary clutch, which is really a fluke deal that I haven't seen. But it happened, got that going. Luckily had an extra bolt with a bunch of washers. The group I was with was an amazing group of guys. Everyone was really prepared. It makes me really wanna have a four seat vehicle all set up with all this type of stuff with all the extras you would need for a trip like this. And just goes to show you all the trials and tribulations. You can't be too prepared. Um, so we got his car going, then another car went into limp mode, we tried to change the belt and it just wasn't having it, so we made the decision to go ahead instead of going to Salome, just to come back to Havasu Springs, so epic two days of riding, super fired up on how the car worked. So as we're cutting back to uh, Parker, a couple of us jump on the race course section here up by where they do the, uh, the Parker 425 and we're having fun and one of the guys just came into a section pretty hot with his stock radius rods and bent it, so. Not surprised, I've seen it happen a bunch of times, but um, got the trailer, got him going, all good, but super fired up how my car worked, especially for it being its first real ride. I don't get to come out to Parker near enough, so since I'm here, I'm gonna go uh, get a little footage of the car running. I'm super excited about that. So uh, enjoy this footage, and uh, thanks for watching. If you guys lo love the content, please like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions about planning an Arizona Peace Trail ride yourself, and I will see you on the next one. Another Chupacabra sighting. I've never run across anything like this. Do you believe in the Chupacabra?